to all those who have suffered from my shortcomings and from my mistakes. I once again apologize. That's how the Boston years of cardinal law ended, in disgrace. It is my hope and it's my prayer that my resignation as Archbishop might help the Archdiocese of Boston to experience healing, to experience reconciliation, and to experience unity. But it started 18 years earlier, March 1984, when 52-year-old Bernard Law arrived from Missouri and became Archbishop of Boston. A little more than a year later, it was Cardinal Law, one of the youngest Americans to become a prince of the Catholic Church. His soft-spoken leadership style won over Boston Catholics, and he took a firm stance on church teachings. Nowhere is the shroud of darkness heavier in the contemporary world than in the sin of abortion. But he also became a voice against injustice. Law was a Vatican favorite, traveling to Cuba several times on behalf of the Pope. He brought pilgrims to the Auschwitz concentration camp and visited people devastated by the Mexico City earthquake. But it was the horrific sexual abuse scandal here at home that destroyed him, creating a profound anger toward the Cardinal and toward the Church. Hundreds came forward saying they were abused by priests, priests that in some cases were moved from parish to parish, allowing them to repeat the violations that had come before. I did assign priests who had committed sexual abuse. The church paid millions to settle abuse claims, but law hung on. I do not intend to resign as your archbishop. Still, the pressure mounted, legally and from the parishes. We need new leadership in the archdiocese. In December 2002, the headlines blared the news. The most effective way that I might serve the church at this moment is to resign. Law spent the rest of his life primarily in Rome as head of the Basilica of St. Mary Major until 2011 when some say he was forced to retire, forever the face of a scandal that damaged lives, the church, and inflicted wounds that still have not healed. I acknowledge my own responsibility for decisions which led to intense suffering. I would also ask forgiveness.